Hi everyone, today's demonstration is uh, to show this easy Valentine rose design. How to get this kind of uh, dimensional rose uh, look. I've used some foil and some chrome flakes as well. And I've got uh, four samples here that I'll be doing. On each sample I do have one coat of black velvet by Le Shop. And um, in my experimenting to find what polishes would work uh, better for the spreading of the um, roses. Uh, it's kind of key that they do spread uh, pretty evenly and nicely. I did uh, Accents Black On and Cuccio Verona Lace for the white. Uh, black On is a no wipe black and to outline the petals which will uh, add to the dimension of the flower I used Accents White On, which is a no wipe uh, white color. And to top everything off, I used the Accents Shine On, which is a no wipe top coat. And for the uh, tinting of the roses, um, I didn't have any uh, like glass gels or any uh, tinting polishes, so I did remember my alcohol inks, and I'll show you. Uh, how I did it that way. For the foil I did use Moira Magic Foil and for the Chrome Flake Nail the um, I used it on this one with the rose and I also used it on my pinky. Uh, I used uh, Ruby Chrome Color Flakes from Social Claws. So we'll go ahead and get started here with our first sample and this is going to be the foil nail. I'm going to get the two easiest ones out of the way here. Uh, again, Magic Foil from Moira. This is a super, super thin uh, foil, so it transfers relatively easily. So uh, normally you would use some sort of transfer gel specific for um, foiling, but I found that um, after kind of tapping off a, a little bit of the uh, sticky layer from the Le Shot color, uh, this transferred perfectly, uh, this foil did. So that's what I'm doing here, just pressing the foil uh, kind of in a random pattern over the nail. It's however little or lot that you want on the nail. And once you get your foil placed where you like it, then we will go ahead and top that with a coat of the uh, accents top coat. Of course you can use any of your favorite top coats. You don't have to use a no wipe if you don't want to with this. It will work just fine uh, with any top coat. Get a little bit of a piece of fuzz out of there. So again, for the uh, foil, since the Moira especially is so thin, uh, you can probably get away with experimenting and seeing which of your regular gel colors would work with this. Um, it should work just fine. Uh, if, it, if you have a different kind of foil, you may need a specific gel uh, for transferring uh, foils. Um, it might take a little more effort uh, to do so. So once you get a good coat on that nail, that's ready to go ahead and cure. And there's our foil nail out of the lamp. Now for our next sample, I'll be showing the Chrome Flake from Social Claws. Again, this is the ruby color. And I'm not going to um, place the Chrome all over the nail. I kind of wanted this to, I wanted some of the black to show through, kind of like with the foil nail. I place the napkin down. This It's uh, very floaty, this foil is. It's very, very thin and it will kind of go all over the place if you're not careful with it. So I'm just using my uh, kind of uh, blender brush here uh, because it's kind of has those gaps and uh, it'll pick up just a little bit of the foil at a time so that's good for placing it in kind of random areas so 
I'm not going to press it down just yet. I'm just going to get it placed where I would like on the nail first. And again, this is over um, the black gel that does not have the sticky layer removed. This is being placed into the sticky layer. Now I'm flattening down all of the uh, flakes, making sure that I don't have anything that's lifting up before I top coat it. You want to be easy with uh, the brushing of the nail here. I'm trying not to brush too much on the nail. It can lift some of those flakes off, so you want to be careful with that. And there is the cured nail out of the lamp. When working with foils or glitters or things like that, uh, take it from me, it's probably best to have a, a specific uh, bottle of clear top coat um, that's different uh, from the rest of your top coats. That'll just save you a lot of heartache when you go to paint something else and getting glittered and everything. All right, on my tile here, I have the Cuccio um, and the accents white on again white on is going to be for the outline of the petals the cuccio is going to be for forming the petals themselves and i'm going to use this um, fine liner brush to uh, place the white gel into a wet layer and uh, the wet layer is going to be the accents uh, black on. The reason I did um, the Le Shot first is because it has a sticky layer and the accents black on is a uh, no wipe. So if you were to use the accents as your base layer and then come and add another layer as your wet layer, and when you cure that, it's a, it's a possibility you might get peeling since there's no, uh, sticky layer to help adhere the two layers together. I hope that made sense. So for this wet layer I'm just going to paint a, a section and I'm doing this in sections because when you uh, are doing this wet layer technique where you're letting things spread out if you were to paint the whole nail uh, it would kind of have an unlimited unlimited area to spread out and it might spread into areas that you don't want it to so working in sections kind of keeps it bordered into areas where you would like it to stay and uh, that's what I wanted here I wanted uh, to kind of delineated areas uh, when I did this. So get a nice thin even coat with your wet layer and again folks you might have to experiment with your polishes to see what works with you. Um, this just happens to be what worked for me to get the best spread uh, as far as the petals and you do want to use uh, polishes that are going to uh, spread uh, quite a bit and the reason for that is the more that it spreads the more kind of dimensional and floaty looking that your uh, petals will look once you get your red over it. So what I like to do is place a dot, place that dot down and then draw out the lines on each side to form the petal kind of start with your center swirl and I like to do three around that and then just kind of continue with that uh, with your other petals after that. Now don't worry that your your edges are not going to be uh, pointy because uh, those will take care of that when we come back and outline it. So you can see how it is spreading quite nicely. If you don't want big fat petals, you want thinner petals, then just pick up less polish.
If you find that it's spreading too much to where it just kind of fades out to nothing, then you might want to add something that might thicken up that or maybe try a different combination of your two colors. Um, and also you don't have to use black as your as your base layer. You can use clear if you'd like, if that's what uh, spreads best for you. So I'm going to I let that spread to my desired um, thickness there and cure it. And after I cure it, I'm coming in and I'm placing down that next section of polish for the upper rows. And it's no problem if you find that you know you're not liking how it's uh, spreading out or they start to kind of spread into each other and if it's something that you don't like simply wipe it off and and start again that's not a problem uh, doing so so we're going to go ahead and cure that uh, section as well and you can see how the areas where it kind of fades to the lighter areas that is what's going to help give it that dimension on the nail kind of almost like they're floating in the surface of that black and now we're ready to outline uh, the petals. Once again I'm using Accents White On and that's that little dot right there and you're going to uh, want to outline the inside of the petals only not the outside. You want that um, definition to be on the inside. So you can see that even though it started out those uh, edges were kind of rounded looking, we're giving it dimension with our outline and that will uh, make it stand out once the red gets on there. And now that is ready to go ahead and cure. Now, when I was experimenting, um, the first thing I, I thought of, I didn't have any, again, I didn't have any glass gels or any tinted gels. So I thought I would make my own by getting my alcohol ink and combining a drop or two with some of the, uh, the Accents Talk Coat. And while that worked nicely, uh, I decided that, well, it would just be easier to take a sponge and actually sponge the color directly over the design rather than mixing it with the top coat. Either way is perfectly acceptable. Um, this was just faster and I actually liked the look of it better. I think it coated the design uh, better and made it look more dimensional to me really. So just take your sponge and and dab on the color all over the nail. Make sure that you get that white evenly uh, covered. Even the tiniest mist spot will uh, show through. So be sure that you get a nice coat on that. You can see already how dimensional that looks and it'll even look a little bit more so when you put the top coat on. 
So if you miss anything, go back, make sure that you have covered it. And you do want to make sure that this uh, ink dries. You'll find that it is slightly tacky. But uh, that's okay. Again, I have my separate bottle of my top coat uh, that I'm using, so I'm not worried about getting any residual uh, dye uh, in it. So, one tip is not to overbrush this when you're doing the uh, top coat. It's always best when using the ink so it doesn't uh, pull any of the color off or uh, get any unnecessary color on your uh, brush itself is to take a, a good amount of polish uh, what you know that generally will cover your nail and float it over the nail so you you barely want that brush touching the surface as you distribute the polish across your nail Make sure that you get the size really well, cap those free edges, and this will take two coats of polish to uh, make sure that you get good everyday wear out of this. And there it is out of the lamp. Beautiful three-dimensional look with the roses. Now we'll do another uh, quick rose one. This is the single one here with the chrome flake uh, accent. Again, the sample has the sticky layer still intact. Using the accents black on, we'll paint out our section that we're going to do our rose. And again, I experimented with quite a few uh, different top coats and, and white colors and even gel paints. Gel paints are just too thick for uh, this particular process. I wouldn't recommend them for this. You do want um, a polish that's going to spread pretty easily in whatever base color or top coat that you're using. So um, just keep that in mind. Experimenting, uh, you may have to do it to find the best combination. This is what worked best for me. And again, using the white on, we'll finish up our outlining. I'm going to take the chrome and um, start placing it uh, along, I mean, very careful not to get it onto the white. That is still slightly sticky from our white uh, polish that we use, so I'm just putting it on the black area there. Pressing it down. Once all the flakes are secured, we'll go ahead and tint our rose. Now you don't have to use red for this. I actually had a raspberry colored uh, one that came out really nicely. I did notice that uh, any of the lighter uh, alcohol inks tended to lighten up the black a little bit more than I liked, although it was still quite pretty uh, with the different colors. Blue would be quite nice as well. So once all your flakes are down, flattened, and the ink has dried, it's ready for the top coat. Some of the foil or the uh, chrome flakes got onto the flower, so just removing those. And there are our four nails complete and out of the lamp. So you can see the roses are really quite easy to do. 
I hope you have enjoyed the video. If you have, go ahead and like and subscribe. Uh, I will leave links down below, so check down there for anything that you feel that you would like to purchase. And until next time, I will see you guys later.